Money Van Gilder along with Dan McDonald. It's our SportsNola.com First NBC Weekend Review brought to you by First NBC Bank. 31 locations all around the greater New Orleans area and beyond. Be sure to do your banking at First NBC Bank, the presenting sponsor of SportsNola.com. Dan, we are at Sunbelt Conference Media Day, and uh, I mentioned in the story, I guess, over the weekend on the Manning Passing Academy, the offseason is over, college football season, football season is here, and this may really be the signal that we are here. Well, between the Sunbelt Conference press day this week and the SEC press day this week, it's sort of getting everybody in the rhythm of college football. And it's, uh, you know, again, when you get into college football, you know, every game, that's the great thing about this uh the game of college football is every game means something and that doesn't change this year uh, our last year in a format with the bcs obviously uh people have been wanting they've been screaming for playoffs well now you've got a playoff coming up in the next couple of years so it's a it's a chance for us to to sort of look at what college where college football stands right now and also sort of look at the future since this is our last year under this format and there are a lot of teams here and obviously a lot of teams in the sec that are really looking at that uh this year with the bcs and next year with the college football playoff to try to be a part of this the story out of sunbelt media day this morning the two louisiana schools louisiana lafayette and louisiana monroe tabbed co-favorites in a vote of the coaches it was a, a dead heat between the raging cajuns and the warhawks for the top spot in the sunbelt as they take things in the preseason well how much fun is that going to be if these two teams do live up to that and can there's a lot of football to be played between now and the end of november but these two teams lock up at the end of november it's the last game of the year for ul monroe uh, the uh, the raging cajuns have another game after that but i mean if these two teams can do that if they can do as they're projected and can come into that last week with uh with something to play for both of them possibly vying for a title how big will that be in the state of louisiana i I don't know if it will have a precedent. I don't know if there has been really a situation that that has happened all year. And I'm reasonably certain that never have two teams in Louisiana ever been picked to win the same league. It just hasn't happened. Two teams from Louisiana don't spend a lot of time in the same league. Go go back to the 60s, I guess, when Tulane and LSU were part of the SEC and who knows? They may not even had preseason polls going back that far. You know, we have to ask some of our uh, some of our older colleagues about that. Uh, you mentioned the SEC getting started tomorrow. One of the stories that is certainly to come up played out in Thibodeau this weekend. Johnny Manziel, the Heisman Trophy winner, reportedly getting sent home from the Manning Passing Academy for having a little bit too much fun at night and not uh, not making it out to the practice fields the next morning, showing up about noon, and uh, supposedly he was sick. But we've heard reports differently. Well, that's going to happen when you have uh, when you have the season you're in. You're not in. One of the coaches this morning was talking about players are victims, of, not victims, but they are. They're part. Of, they look for routine, and right now players don't have a routine. It's the middle of the summer. They're not. They're not in that game week. They're not in that fall practice mode. Uh, you know, it's almost like they have too much time on their hands. And you know, then you you look at. Some of the guys, you know, that have gotten in trouble in the offseason and so forth, you know, you sort of wonder, you know, hopefully that doesn't happen when you get around to playing football. And, you know, that's what I'm sure all these coaches here this week at the Sun Belt are, are looking at. Said, you know, that's, you know, our numbers, you know, we have so many good kids that don't get involved with stuff like that. You know, we don't want the one or two guys to bring our whole season down. And, you know, you have to hope that that doesn't bring Texas A&M season, you know, to, to a, a down point, which I'm, I'm pretty sure it, it won't. But still, it, it's something that you, ha- you have to sort of fight through this time of year. Yeah, well, in this 24-hour news cycle that we live in now, probably by the time the first significant story comes out of SEC Media Days on Tuesday, it'll be over. So, except when he shows up on Wednesday morning, and I'm sure it'll come back again, and then it'll be over on Thursday when, you know, whenever Nick Saban and Les Miles get to the podium. But we'll have. Well, you really hope he makes it there to SEC Media Day, and not just doesn't you know sleep through that too. That that would be the scary thing. Yeah, that would not be a good thing. A lot of news, of course, on the high school front, always here at SportsNola.com, and we've got the latest. Uh, coverage going on all week long of the Southeast Louisiana Baseball American Legion Regional at Kirsch Rooney. Uh, first two days in the book, continuing through Wednesday. There's another regional going on in Dan's Neck of the Woods in Crowley that will uh, the, those winners will all come together for a state championship beyond this week. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. And, of course, our high school football previews continue regularly right here at SportsNola.com. 
Dan, thanks for sitting in for Ken and uh, making a guest appearance here at Sunbelt Media Day. Good to have you in town. Oh, my pleasure. It's always great to be in town, and it's always great to be around football. It's always great to be around this conference because, you know, a lot of things have changed in a lot of conferences around the country. You know, the Sun Belt's still pretty well positioned. You have to remember that every team that won a bowl game is back in the Sun Belt Conference this year. So I think that says something for the teams that are still here. Should be some good football coming out of the Sun Belt this year. And stay with us here at SportsNola.com for much more on Sun Belt Media Day. This has been our first NBC weekend review, brought to you by First NBC Bank, 31 locations in the greater New Orleans area and beyond. For Dan, I'm Lenny. Thanks for being with us.